This tree behind me is a Quercus agrifolia, commonly known as Coast Live Oak. Today we're going to show you all the different aspects of it, and by the end of this video, I'm sure you'll be able to identify it out in the field. For me, botanical names have always been good to learn. So I want to talk a little bit about it. So the name Quercus, it actually means oak in Latin. So it's kind of funny, it, it, it sounds different, Quercus, but actually it just means oak. Then you go to the species name, it means, it's agrifolia, and it's, it comes from a word called aquifolium, which is an old medieval Latin word meaning holly leaf. So then you assume from that that the leaf looks kind of hollyish, and that's pretty true. Anyhow, what I'd like to say is about this tree, um, these trees, are, they're California natives, and they, they can live for several hundred years. They come from the area pretty much all up and down California. And um, it really has these awesome, broad, large branches that are really solid to walk on. This tree in particular is one of my favorites because years ago I had, um, well, this is funny, before, everywhere I used to work, I would always use the uh, climbing gear from the place I worked at. So years ago, one year after tax season, I went and I bought a bunch of climbing gear for myself and my sons. So Noah, he was probably around three years old and Ben could have been close to seven. Back then we bought something called a, a Corvus for Ben and then I bought a Wasetti for Noah. So this is actually the tree that we came up with climbing. It's an awesome tree to climb in. So when, when we go up and we got up into the canopy, you would actually could forget that you're in a park. You felt like you're out in the forest. And what's really nice about this tree is that it feels super solid and when you walk around you feel safe. So yeah, even myself, when I walk around in these coast live oaks, I always feel safe. So some of the different attributes about this tree. This tree is a decurrent tree, which means it's going to be more round headed and maybe a lot of times, sometimes it may be even a broad canopy, maybe a little bit of irregular shaped but it is a tree that can grow up to be about 70 feet tall and its canopy width could be from 30 to 70 feet wide. Um, really cool. Um, the trunk on it will uh, usually have like grayish, dark gray and fissures in it. But if it's a younger tree, it might even be a smooth, almost shiny gray bark. It's really pretty nice. So the, um, the leaf structure, the arrangement on it is an, is an alternate um, structure. So what that means is, so the way the trees set on the stem, they're alternate. They're, they're on each side of the stem. And what that means is the bud comes out where the leaf is. So it's a simple leaf. That means it's where you pull it off of the bud, that's a simple leaf, and they're ovate. And so it has these little tiny spikes on it. So that's where you get the holly-like leaf. Um, and they're cupped. I have a better leaf for a cupped. Well, funny thing, when, when I was first in the trade, my, one of my first um, mentors, a guy named Howard, he told me about this. It's a, it's a leaf that kind of looks cupped. So he put it in his hand and he tells me, he goes, well, to, to help me remember, he goes, think about this. What does it look like? And I'm like, well, kind of a boat. And he says, exactly. He goes, think about coast live oak. And these leaves are like little boats. It was so hilarious, but honestly, I remember the name and even till, you know, it took me, you know, really, it was real quick and easy to remember the name. Just by that, they look like a boat. <laughs> Anyhow, um, another thing about it is that these trees have, um, they have green and yellowish catkins and also the female flower, they're green and reddish and they're spikes. These, they'll produce an acorn and a brown acorn. Um, there weren't any in the area, so I couldn't really show you that. They um, also, they're a tree that can grow about 36 inches per year if everything, all the conditions are good. And I, I believe that the fruiting time of these trees in, is in the winter time. Um, and it is one of my all time favorite trees. I say one because there's so many trees in this world, I don't think I could just pick a favorite, but uh, there we have it, the Quercus agrifolia, Coast Live Oak. So here you have it, a Quercus agrifolia, also known as a Coast Live Oak. Um, it 
lately, more recently, I've been noticing that a lot of climbers, um, I talk to a lot of different climbers, and a lot of times I ask about the botanical names, and, and it, it seems like a lot of them are not really knowing the botanicals as much. And for me, it's always been a good thing to know because a botanical word name will be anywhere in the world you go, you're gonna have that botanical name. Some of the common names, if you go by the common names, a lot of trees will have a lot of different common names. So if you go by that, you might, if you had to do like planting or something and you had a plan, you might end up planting the wrong tree. Anyhow, if you go by the botanical names, learning that's a huge thing. And hopefully with this video, um, it sparked a little bit of interest in you and you're able to see this coast live out, oak out in the world and be able to identify. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and uh, take care. We'll see you next time.